Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our show brought to you by Southeast Termite and Pest Control Termites. It's that time of year when the little devils are on top of mind, but you can get peace of mind by calling Southeast Termite and Pest Control. Get a free inspection of your home, free estimate as well if they see that work is going to need to be done. As with anything in life, prevention is cheaper than correction. Get a free termite check from Southeast Termite and Pest Control free inspections. These, these folks have been to my house. I trust them implicitly. Great, great folks to deal with. Southeast termite and pest control. All right, uh, we turn it over to this group of pests. Um, Tennessee, as we said, probably going to be in that seven to eight win range this year. That's our expe expectation of the sports source, 7.5. <laughs> Give me reasons why they won't. <laughs> Reason, let me, let me guess, if there are five guys banded together, yes. right, what do you got? I, I mean, I'm going to totally disagree with what Chuck said in the earlier segment. I think the offensive line is still your biggest worry going into this season. Yes, they look better up behind oh, I didn't say I didn't say that they're not the biggest. I said that's the biggest key. I mean, I didn't say, I didn't say they were going to do good or bad. I just said to me, that's the biggest key to being good or be writing of history right here. <laughs> but anyway, that's my biggest it's the, concern. It's the first <laughs> mousey tongue reference we had on the show. I, I really worry <laughs> that that offensive line is going to be greatly improved or even improved over last year. So many times people say, that, hey, they've been together a year, they'll be better. And it hasn't worked out for some time for Tennessee. That is my biggest concern why they won't go seven. To me, I think you're going to have some better players there. But as I've said from day one, I don't. I think you'd be better off if those guys from last year all took such massive steps forward that these new guys don't even get on the field. We know that's not going to happen. But if you have to put too many of these new guys out there, then you're right back to the issue you had last year, which right. is everybody green. Nobody knows what the other guy next to him is going to do. That's that's a line where you. I mean, that's a position where everybody has to communicate and know exactly yep. what this guy's doing. And we saw last year how horrifically bad that can go if you don't have that, that continuity and that, that experience. So I agree with Bob. I think worry number one, if you don't meet the expectations, tie it to the offensive line. Which, by the way, that run game didn't look spectacular in the spring game. That's a glorified scrimmage, but still. still. All right. Other reasons why they won't make it. Dobbs is not as good a quarterback as we think, and they have injuries at key positions where they have no depth. Okay, that, that takes yeah. out. I was going to say depth at running back, depth at quarterback. Both well, what about depth at linebacker? I mean, I think you can That's throw that position. out there as a key position. <laughs> that Jimmy covered it all. He just opened the umbrella. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and I think that could very well be a case mm -hmm. before you get even into SEC play. If you specifically have somebody, middle linebacker. Exactly. If your middle linebacker play is not as efficient as it was when A.J. Johnson was there. Right. That's, that's a pretty big hole. Mm -hmm. Now, I think you did get a little bit of a boost in the fact that you had to learn to play without him last year, and they should have mm -hmm. confidence that they played without him and kicked Iowa from one end of the Gator Bowl to the other one. Uh, and that's Gator Bowl Stadium. Well, no, it's not even the Gator <laughs> Bowl Stadium anymore. It's, it's all tell Stadium. So... Gator Bowl on the ring. Yeah, which makes no sense since it's not the Gator Bowl. <laughs> All right. Uh, here's an, uh, uh, Do I think you, said, you guys hit this one. Dobbs isn't as good. So it's just yeah. yeah, it's like which Dobbs do you get? Which Dobbs is the real Dobbs? Yeah. And we don't know that for sure yet. Vince? Well, um, I, I would start with injuries, and Jimmy hit on that. That's one. And then the other one that you guys – that hasn't been mentioned yet that I'll go with – is the schedule and by the schedule I mean the schedule is tougher with their opponents that are a lot more difficult than when it looks like on paper right now and that might add an extra challenge that doesn't look because I think the schedule is as favorable for Tennessee as it has been in years and it, uh, it that could be another reason. Well I, the way I had it listed um, I had the same kind of thing schedule because just listen to the names just the names all right Oklahoma Florida Arkansas Georgia Alabama, even though Butch Jones has owned South Carolina and Steve Spurrier his first two years, South Carolina has become a name program. I know Florida's down. I know people are thinking, well, Oklahoma finished 8-4 you know, or 8-5. and five. It's still Oklahoma. You still haven't beaten Florida in a decade. That schedule, I think, is tougher. We're going to get cl the closer we get to kickoff. That schedule's going to look easier and easier to a lot of folks. It's going to be 10 wins, 11 wins. I think the schedule's tougher than it looks. And, I, and, and the next person that comes up to me and says, well, you know, you sit there and you add up wins. Well, what about Missouri? Missouri goes in the wins column after Tennessee actually wins. Well, it's like yeah. beating, it's like beating yeah. Florida. Yeah. I mean, yeah. boy, they've beaten you 10 yeah. years in a row. Mm -hmm. And how many times have one of us said, hey, Tennessee should win this game this year? And then they didn't do it. Every year? Every yeah. year. Well, here's, here's one. How about if your kicking game takes a step back? That if you're not as yeah. productive in several areas in that, 
that's going to really hurt you in, yeah, in terms so of exceeding at seven and a half. Punting minutes. game is a key part of that key part. Right. And those newcomers, if those guys aren't difference makers on that D-line yeah. like you expect, and the yeah. other newcomers, if Kamara isn't as good, they need to rely on those newcomers. If they're not as good, then this team may not reach those expectations. And, and, and that's a big one right there. Yeah. All right. Um, you got anything else? Or? No. Okay. Uh, let me throw out two things. One's kind of a twist on another one. I mentioned earlier depth at, at running back. Also, specifically, Jalen Hurd. He's had several shoulder injuries going back to high school, off-season stuff again this year. Um, this is somebody that they need to get healthy all the way through the season. Right. And as John Adams wrote, I believe, yesterday in the Sentinel, this is one of those years where there's only one open date. So that makes it a little tougher. The other thing I would throw out there, people don't want to hear about youth. I keep reading that. I don't want to hear about youth anymore. Well, tough, because they're still young. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, it's a fact. They're still young in a lot of areas. Uh, you've got a class now of juniors. You know, you got your Cam Sutton, you got your Josh Dobbs. But there's a lot of freshmen and sophomores, as mentioned, that you're going to be counting on. And the thing is, how many of those guys have tasted when things go bad? Yet you don't have guys who've tasted victory, who know how to. Okay, we're going to right this ship. We haven't seen them. Uh, a lot of these young guys do that. I mean, the best they've done is a seven and six season. So there's still some growth to be to be done there. All right. When we come back, quick slants on satellite camps. What should UT fans be hoping for in that term, in that outcome? And then also Tennessee recruiting. Any reason to be worried? Come on back on the Sports Source. From East Tennessee to Kentucky, no job is too small for Benedict Construction. Electrical work, heating and air installation, even carports and garages. With a reputation for excellence, rely on the custom work of Benedict Construction.